whenever we'll take center on the lotus feet of Sri Guru, Kale Krishna Tare Karenatma Sama. On that moment, when we are taking center on the lotus feet of Guru, that time Krishna will accept us as relative. Atma Samo is very near nearest one. She will accept us as very nearest one. So here the Mula Shankarshan Tattva. That is why scripture say that in front of your guru you have to respect your guru as Nidai. Without this Kripa, Nithai Kripa, without Shankarsana Kripa, Balaram Kripa, <coughs> no one can attain this. If we can see Nithai in our Guru, then we can realize these truths. Here, Ramay Thakur Himanson, he quote this Luka, Dayar Vigraha Sam Yogat. When these two forms in union combine, then you can realize the truths of Parama, Parama Tattva. <coughs> By these two forms, this name, the form of this name, Rama Kim Rokare Radhika Radhikot Pannu Mokare Mudushudano Dui Namo Ubhayo Bikraho Yhate Je Rashat Putti Otyum Tuanum Dototi Ramo Namo Nishchaitan Ramaitaku, he explained this sloka most suitably. When this Balarama came from this two, when they will unite, Srimati Radharani and Sura Krishna Madhusudana, by their meeting, which pleasure will come out from both of their heart? You must know this pleasure is Balarama. This Ananda, this pure place is Balarama. Tahate Je Rasatpati, when they will meet to each other, Sri Krishna and Srimati Radharani, when they will perform their secret pastimes, which Ananda will come out from their heart, together from their heart, this Ananda is known as Balarama. You must know this Ananda is Balarama. By Balarama, in that way, they are getting pleasure by themselves. By their secret pastimes, by their meeting, by their playing, by their love. In that way, they are getting this Ananda by Baladev Chandra. Without any form, he is creating their pleasure. There, in their secret pastimes, he has not to work with any forms. Mula Shankarshan. That time is without any form. Just a power. Like a power. And he is playing in their heart. So they can please to each other. When Balarama will spread the love to their heart, because he is the store of love, prema, isn't it? For their meeting, for their playing, they need prema. 
from where they, they will get this prema? When Balaram is told of prema? So, when Balaram will spread this prema to their hearts, they will enjoy each other. And then again, new pleasure will come out from their heart. New realization will come out. Ananda will come out from their heart. And this Ananda, you must know this Ananda also, Parama. That is why he known as Rama. When he has this potential with love, Prema, when he has this power of love, that is why he known as Bala. And together with this true name, it's Balarama. Aparam Paramash Charya Srenu Devi Varanam Sarva Karja Balaramo Balo Deva Hoy Namo Balo Bhadra Savete Mangalo Sankarsana Jai Namo Akarsana Vidya Dhamo Buddha Jano Balay Shakalo Yeah, he is praising Bhagavad Chandra. Whenever we'll meditate about any name, Baladev, Baladam, Balabhadra, whenever we'll chant or meditate about this name, about this form, the auspices will come to us. Only by this name, he is taking away away all the inner species from us because he is the destroyer of all inner species always he is giving us auspices always he is giving us prema but to receive prema we have to be qualified otherwise we cannot carry this prema to taste, to feel, to realize, to carry this Krishna Prema, they have to get these qualifications. We have to make our heart very pure. Without any desire, Anya Abhilashita Shunnam. When in our heart will full of without any desire <coughs> when in our heart there has only one desire and it is serving for Krishna when our mind always will meditate about Krishna when our tongue will be engaged with Krishna Nama when our eyes will see everywhere is Krishna, Jaha Jaha Nitra Pari Taha Krishna Spuri. When our hand will engage with Krishna Shiva, Krishna Bhakta Shiva, when our body will work, will engage with all the activities connected with Krishna, that time. <coughs> that time this pure prema of Krishna Radharani we can receive, we can realize, we can feel, we can taste. Otherwise, in this material world, always we are searching very little happiness. That day, <coughs> maybe yesterday, I went to take prasad in Radha Vinod. And every day I used to take prasad with Baba, Pran Krishna Baba. And Baba started to say some story. Spontaneously he started. You know the story of Maya Shankar? 
started another story about our situation. One man from village, he started to go somewhere, he started his journey to go somewhere. At the noon time, he was in the forest and he opened his bag and for taking his noon time food. Some chapatis he opened there. And he was very near, just next to one well. And he knows this well full of snakes, scorpions, and all these poisonous things. Even the water also was poisonous. If somebody will fall down there, inside the water, she will die. In one moment she will die. He knows this. But then also, he opened his bag there, just next to this well. And he started to take his food. Suddenly, one big tiger, lion, came there. He was very hungry, this lion. He just came by jumping. And he was roaring in front of him. And in some moments, he thought, Oh, maybe now this lion will kill me. And I can save myself only if I go to the well, if I jump to the well, <coughs> to the water. But there are also all the poisonous things. Anyhow, I'll die. But that is good. Go to a well. Maybe there, anyhow, I can survive. But not here in front of the lion. So he jumped to the well, in the well. He jumped in the well and this well was very old, so so many trees, banyan trees also has grows inside the well. And one banyan tree has a very long root. Suddenly he found this root is very near to him and he catch this, he holds this very strongly. That means he was just middle. Upside the lion, <laughs> and down the snakes, scorpions, these all poisonous things. In the banyan trees, there was one the honeybees. What do you say? This mochak nest, nest, honeybees nest, <laughs> and from this honeybees nest, there was dropping the honey. <coughs> one single drop and when he caught this honey on his tongue oh it is very nice it is very nice so he was holding strongly this roof and he was testing this honey one drop and after a long time another drop but he was enjoying this honey and suddenly he found that he is in very danger up is death, lower is also death. Both sides, <coughs> Yama is waiting for him. Yama is waiting for him. And then she was really scared about to see this, that two mouse came and they started to cut this rope by their teeth. One mouth is black, one mouth is black. <coughs> One mouse is white and one is black. These two mouse is cutting this rope. Then he 
it feels old. Very soon they will cut this rope and I will go inside this poisonous water and they will kill me. So he started to shout, Oh Prabhu, oh Bhagavan, save me, save me, oh Bhagavan, Bhagavan. After some time Bhagavan came to him, there in the well. And he asked this, Hey, how you are holding this rope, this root, long time, before you can call me? <laughs> he said, Oh Prabhu, you know, I forgot everything. When this is coming, this honey drop, <coughs> this honey drop, I was enjoying this. But when I found these two mouses cutting this root, then I remember you. Until that time, your name did not come in my mind. <laughs> Our situation is like this. This root is like a false hope of our life. We are always creating hope by ourselves. Sometimes we are dreaming some things which is not possible for us, but we are dreaming. We are always creating this dream, false dream, false hope in our heart and mind. And the day and night mouse, they are always <coughs> cutting our life, times, this black and white mouse. There, significance of day and night. Day and night. Day and night. Day and night.